Jansport, what the f Well, hello there. Today, I am pissed off. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you either own or desperately want a Jansport Pleasanton backpack, which just so happens to be my favorite backpack of all time that I use every day, that I've used every day since 2015. The only issue is Jansport decided not to make them anymore. Now I own both the white tag and the coveted red tag Pleasanton backpacks. I'm not gonna get into an in-depth review on either today, but I will show you the differences. But really, this video is a cry to Jansport to bring back the Pleasanton. So white tag and red tag, what's the deal? When the Pleasanton was released along with the rest of the Skip Yole line, which all of them are pretty damn cool bags, they all had a red Jansport tag. Not only does the red really pop, but the quality on the red tag versus the white tag is far superior. And I'll jump into that later. Then they stopped making the red tag and they made the white tag, which was a lesser quality product, but still a cool backpack. Then they stopped making the white tag. Seriously, I wanna know how that board meeting went. All right, guys, we're gonna make the coolest backpack ever, the Jansport Pleasanton. And people, are gonna love it. Oh my god, beautiful bag. Yeah, right? Then we're gonna stop making it. Ugh. But then we're gonna make a shittier version with a white tag that's still gonna be cool and people will still like it. Uh huh. And then we're gonna stop making that one too. Ugh. Forever. Genius. <laughs> So beyond style, the Pleasanton is the most functional backpack I've ever had. And that's what's so badass about the Pleasanton. It has this heritage rugged look, but it functions like a tech backpack. There are pockets and pouches everywhere. I'll get into more of that later. First, I want to take you down my little journey of the Pleasanton backpack. So 2015, I'm looking for a new backpack. And all of a sudden, boom, I see a picture of Ryan Gosling, who I'm a big fan of. And I saw the Pleasanton and I was like, what the f is that? I want to own it. I want to have it. It's a Jansport. That's rad, but it's leather and olive green. Are you kidding me? Sign me up. Unfortunately for me, when I went online to try to find a retailer that has one, I couldn't. But then I found one who had the white label in stock. And I purchased this bad boy and I loved it. Was I bummed it wasn't the red tag? Yeah, a little bit, but it has everything I needed in terms of organization. And it also has that badass look that I love. Now I've been through a lot with this thing. It's been across the country in several states on several shoots and I've had to make multiple repairs on it. I've had to repair the shoulder straps from tearing apart from the body multiple times. I've had to have the side zipper for the laptop completely replaced. And there's been a couple holes in the pocket linings on the outside pockets. But overall, I was really pleased with the white tag. Quick note, for anyone who does own the Pleasanton, that whole Jansport lifetime warranty will fix it and replace it. I got a story for you. During the pandemic, when I only had my white tag, the side zipper for the laptop compartment was completely shot. It wouldn't even move and it was tearing. So I sent it in. After I sent it in, I got a weird feeling in my stomach. So I tracked the package every day till I saw that it was delivered. Then I called Jansport and I talked to a sweet woman and I forget her name, I'm sorry, but you're awesome. I said, hey, my name's Casey and I sent in my Pleasanton for repair. She went, ooh. And I said, what's the problem? And she explained to me, that is one of the most sought after backpacks and we get calls for it all the time. What? And you don't make it, smart. She then explained to me that if they can't repair the backpack, they destroy the backpack and mine it for parts for other repairs. So I immediately said to her, please, dear God, send it back to me right now. And luckily she was able to call the warehouse, they flagged it, they sent it back. Point being, if your backpack is broken, you need repairs, do not send it to Jansport, just in the small chance that they do destroy it, even if you select send it back if they can't repair. Instead, find a local cobbler that's near you. They will be able to do most repairs on your bag, including shoulder strap detachments, holes in pockets, etc. Just be weary, those repairs can look pretty sh now this isn't a big deal, but on my white tag, I had a hole in the outside side pocket. And right here, it does not look very cool. Also for the backpack straps, my cobbler just shot a line of thread through the top multiple times. And again, doesn't look very cool. So truthfully, with the white tag, I was happy, but I wasn't super stoked on the way it was holding up. And on eBay, I set up a search alert for the Jansport Pleasanton. And there was a couple on there that I've seen. There's one going for $4,000. No way I would pay that and none of you should pay that. Then one day I get an alert and it said, hey, there's a new Jansport Pleasanton for sale on eBay. I was like, you know what? Let's check it out. And sure as shit, it was a red tag. 
and I got it from the nicest Canadian dude ever. He had it listed for, I believe, $500, and that's a lot of money to pay for a used backpack. So I hit him up and I kindly explained, look, I'm a huge fan of this backpack. I own one myself. I sent him photos of my white tag. I sent him all the repairs I've done. I just wanted to let him know that I wasn't just gonna flip this backpack. And then I asked, hey, could you help me out on the price? He definitely appreciated me communicating with him and showing him that I'm a big fan of it and I really wanted it and I was gonna take care of it and blah, blah, blah. It's like I was buying a car. And guess what? He hooked me up and I got it for 350 bucks. I will tell you guys, for anyone who's interested in buying one right now, the red tag is far superior to the white tag. The leather used everywhere in this backpack is a lot thicker. It's also obviously full grain leather where the white tag I'm not even sure what kind of leather it is, but you can just tell. You can't really see any grain in the leather. That was the first thing that I noticed. The second thing I noticed is every single strap on the red tag is thicker. If you look at this, the strap on top barely moves on the red tag. The white tag, it's floppy. It's because the canvas that they're using, or whatever this is, not canvas, uh, nylon, is a lot thicker, a lot sturdier. This feels like a seatbelt. This just feels like a meh, flimsy. The leather's also a lighter color on the red tag. It's like, there's like a red hue in it that I really, really like. The padding on the red tag is much thicker, but the straps themselves are more narrow than the white tag, which I thought was interesting. The finishing on the zippers is also different. It's a brass zipper with black material on the outside. And on the white tag, it's also a brass zipper, but it's a green material on the outside. The brass hardware on the white tag is much thinner than on the red tag. I've actually had these bend before on me and I had to bend them back into place. So overall, if you wanna know if there's a difference between the red tag and the white tag, the answer is yes, absolutely, and it's a big difference. All the hardware is thicker. Everything is built better. All the materials are just more better. Now, like I said at the top, I'm not gonna do a deep dive review on the backpack itself, but if you want that, let me know and I'll do one. But real quick, there's pockets everywhere. You got your top pocket here, which I have Kleenex and breath mints and chapstick and flossers and I have cables in here, USB cables. Oh, there, there goes that. And the front pouch. I keep my Bose noise canceling earbuds wired for when I'm monitoring audio on set. I have some hand sanitizer, some sunblock, and I have medical, opa, and medical tape for a lot of things. One of the main reasons is lav mics. Pro tip, take some of this, tape your lav mic right in between your T's. Inside the main compartment, I got my laptop. Then there's a Velcro compartment. Nothing's in here now, but this is where my tablet would go when I'm traveling. I got some bee wipes for emergencies. <laughs> and then I have card readers for the FX3 because I shoot mainly on that for work and I'm dumping footage all the time. Side pockets. I got my sunglasses, sunglass holder. And on this side, I have my little emergency pouch, which has all kinds of goodies in it, including a Leatherman and a headlamp. In the little front pocket here, I got my pen holder and my little notebook for notes. And then the coolest thing about this, like a lot of tech backpacks have, I have a pouch here with a hard drive and a bunch of cables and a fire TV for when I travel. But I'm not making this video to show you guys my backpacks. I'm making this video because as of right now, the only Pleasantons I've seen online are ridiculously overpriced. But I understand they are hard to come by. I'm making this video because I wanna see this backpack come back. There's such a high demand that people are paying over $1,000 for a used backpack. Also, there's nothing else like these. I did find this Filson roll top rucksack, which is actually really nice. And the materials are superior to even the red tag Jansport, but it doesn't have all the same pockets and trinkets and voodoo magic that I like in the red tag. So like I said in the top of the video, Jansport, what the fuck? People obviously want the backpack. People love the backpack. Hell, it has practically a cult following on Reddit. There are dozens of threads dedicated to the backpack, where they got it, where they can get one, just make it. So here's my plan and my goal with this video. For any of you watching who want this backpack, I want to see if I can get 10,000 views and 1,000 likes. And I wanna see comments saying, Jansport, bring this backpack back. I want this, I'd buy one now. Hell, honestly, if it came out right now, I'd probably buy two just to secure the same backpack the rest of my life. That's how much I love it. After I get at least 10,000 views and 1,000 likes, and ideally a bunch of comments of you guys saying, hey, I want it, I wanna buy it, bring it back. I'm gonna hit up Jansport every week. I figured if we pester them enough and see how big of an audience wants this backpack, they gotta make it. 
we need to make Skip Yole proud and show him that his legacy of awesome bags is alive and well. And is this a shameless plug wrapped in some sugar? Yes, it is, and I'm sorry, but the reality is I don't see many reviews. I actually don't think there are any reviews on this backpack. So A, I'm letting you guys know out there, yes, this backpack kicks ass, and B, I truly think we can get this thing to come back alive. Let's necromance the Pleasanton. So Jansport, look at this video. Look at the comments, look at the likes, look at the subscribes. And for the love of God, just make this backpack again. You'll make everyone here happy, including myself. And that's it, another review on a product I love and a big long rant that I think with your help, we can make things happen. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, have a good one.